Okay, uh, tributes have been pouring in this morning, Ethna, to broadcaster Magnus Magnus, who oh, sadly died at the weekend. Yeah. Uh, age 77, he'd been suffering from cancer and uh, he'd be best remembered probably for hosting the initial Mastermind series but his work and enthusiasm for history made him a great friend of Merseyside, especially on the Wirral where Professor Stephen Harding has been tracing the area, area's Viking ancestry. Uh, good morning Stephen. Hello Sean, hello Edna. Good yeah. morning, welcome to the programme. How was yeah. Magnus Magnusson involved with this Stephen? Well, I think we all know Magnus, of course, from uh, Mastermind and all the I Start It's All Finished stuff. But uh, as you said, he was also a distinguished uh, Viking scholar, translating several old Icelandic sagas. He authored many books, such as Hammer of the North and Vikings. And uh, he ran a famous 10 part TV series in the uh, 1980s on, uh, on, on, on Vikings. So he's also a, uh, a great uh, Viking scholar. Now, my contact with him uh, was some years ago when uh, I, uh, I've also a few books on the Vikings in the area, in Merseyside and Wirral, and one in particular called uh, Ingerman Saga, uh, Norwegian uh, Wirral. And uh, I wrote to him uh, asking if he would be so kind as to do a, a foreword for the book. Now, you never know when approaching these uh, famous celebrities, what sort of uh, response uh, to get, you know, it could have been yeah. no response because they were so busy or a polite response saying, you know, thanks indeed, but uh, I'm, I'm rather busy, I can't sort of help. Nice. But much to my uh, my, my surprise and uh, indeed appreciation, this uh, wonderful letter came back saying uh, how flattered he was to be, uh, to be asked. And uh, I think uh, he also said that before he'd like to see the, the the book itself, and he was going to offer some uh, some comments and things and suggestions. I think he was a bit uh, concerned that uh, he wasn't putting his name to something which was a bit dodgy. Right. But fortunately, <laughs> it, it passed the test, and uh, this uh, within a few days he'd uh, responded uh, and had looked through the uh, the manuscript for me, full of green ink. Uh, but uh, this wonderful foreword came with it as well, and uh, and the, the book was published uh, a, a few years ago. But the nice thing is that uh, this book has now been uh, reprinted, because I don't know whether you know, we've been working with uh, Wirral Schools, along with uh, Mike McCartney, who's Wirral's cultural ambassador. Right. And there's this uh, wonderful uh, web resource which uh, was launched just before Christmas about the uh, the Vikings in in, in Wirral. And uh, alongside the uh, the web as a sort of a companion text, uh, the publisher has reprinted uh, this uh, this book with Magnus's foreword. Uh, and this will go out to uh, all the schools uh, as part of this uh, teaching resource. You must be very so pleased about that, that your, your book's going to... Cause you know, to be, he, all the children are going to be able to read that. And that's right. So uh, they'll all benefit from uh, from Manus's great, uh, mm. great, great, great insight. Because so he was very, sense, very interested, wasn't he? He was an authority on this, wasn't he? Absolutely. And uh, he did a lot to dispel the myths that the Vikings were just a bunch of thugs, but mm. indeed were very articulate in bringing vigorous new farming practices, art forms, sculpture. Yeah. And in fact, there was a, a wonderfully uh, sculptured hog back in someone's back garden in Bidston uh, yeah. a couple yeah. of years ago with, with wonderful artwork. They were, you know, great entrepreneurs and, of course, uh, highly skilled craftsmen and superb boat builders. I know when you, do, a lot. when you tell people that the Vikings were around here in Liverpool and they laugh at you, but, of course, place names like Ormskirk, um, and th there must be other ones as well, mustn't there? There's, uh, they were based on the, on, Absolutely. On the, yeah. people, uh, you know, let's not forget that these people settled in Wirral and, and Merseyside in, yes. in considerable numbers. Uh, all those years ago. In fact, all the, the place names ending in, uh, in, in, in BY, and mm. uh, even places like uh, Tranmere, uh, I think this has been said a few times now, Tranmere is a, uh, a Norwegian Viking name, which means uh, crane sandbag. I don't mean cranes as thought you find in, uh, in camel herds, but of the, the, birds. Uh, the, the bird type. That's right. So, right. you know, people don't realize just how uh, how significant the uh, the Viking input into the uh, the area uh, is, and with Magnus's help, we've uh, I think we're starting now to. You're get... hoping to um, establish a permanent visitor centre, is that right on the Wirral? 
That's right. Great. There's moves now to uh, develop uh, the area's uh, Viking heritage. It's not just Wirral, of course. The Vikings were all over Mergeside, but uh, Wirral in, in particular. Good. And there's, uh, there's plans for you know, developing the heritage in terms of uh, a Viking heritage trail, a statue uh, going up uh, possibly at, at Mel's and, uh, and, and Viking centres uh, possibly at, uh, at Mel's or Thurston, and then also uh, developing one at, uh, at, at Chester. Oh, that so sounds wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Off, Sorry. Yeah, yeah it's, all, it's very, very sad losing Magnus, of course, and uh, it's, it's a big shock. It all came sort of suddenly, but uh, well, uh, I think... Yeah. Well, his memory will live on with the help he's given you at the books... Uh, uh, Stephen. Yeah. And also, obviously, he'll get a mention there at the Viking Visitor Centre, surely, won't he? Absolutely. Okay. Pride, pride of place. A, a pride of place, man. and he deserves oh, it. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on this morning to talk to us about it. Thank you, Stephen. All the best, then. Thank, Thank you, you, Stephen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Everybody has a story to tell. But what's yours?